Hello everyone, welcome back to Lehigh River Subdivision. I'm Ian and it's that time of year for the Christmas display layout. So if you're new to the channel uh, since last Christmas, you wouldn't have seen the um, Christmas layout. We've been doing this every year since 2020. So 2020 was the first year. Last year was the second year and this is the third year. This is the second year for this style although it has changed greatly since um, last year. So let's go and take a look at how we got to what's in front of us and then we'll look at this finished product much closer. We're working on the Christmas layout. Brought in the framing from last year. You can see it kind of is uh, a little ratty after tearing it down. Got some of the backdrops were still saved inside. Uh, probably have to make some new ones for this side. Um, but last year, when I put it on the floor, I think I just put cardboard underneath. Um, and most of that ended up getting ruined. Uh, so what I'm gonna do this year is I got some of that white foam board. I'm gonna cut it out and glue it down. It's already white, so we won't have to paint nothing. So we'll start with this and uh, check back really don't have any plans so it's whatever happens happens quick little thing on this christmas layout so when i first bought the set uh the flat car had these girder loads so i'm gonna make a bridge with them cut out a piece of foam board i put the track in both those necks to measure it out so there's one side glued on we'll do the other side and we got ourselves a quick easy deck girder bridge we're going multi-level this year, adding in uh, maybe a little more depth. You'll see in a little bit. All right, so where I'm at basically now is I put in those two inch pieces of foam to make my riverbed. That's where the bridge will go across. And now I started cutting two inch pieces of block to raise up the whole layout. I put the whole foam in there, but where it's not seen, I'm just putting blocks uh, and that'll put the track completely two inches off the floor all the way around and then I'll put a little piece of foam out here I'll build it up where the station goes um, my next step is to cut some of this white foam board and put it on top of that and close that in right there so that's what we're going to do and we'll come back and take a look at it all right so Sam's on her way home with Cameron, so I got to do some cleaning up before they get home. Uh, and I'll continue working on it after he goes to bed. But I basically got two hours into this since I brought the framing in and uh, changed stuff up from last year. Last year it sat completely on the floor. The whole layout's raised up two inches with the foam board. I made this piece for the outside. We'll keep that. Um... The station goes back in there, do something with this front, and then for the sides, we'll just take a piece of that foam board and wrap it with wrapping paper and make like a fascia with that. Now, we'll come over here, and this is the new scene for this year. Uh, completely changed it up, made that deck girder I showed you before. If we come down, you can see I painted the river in. I might add some rocks in there to make it look like there's rocks sticking up out of the ice. Um, reused the tunnel portal. Everything had to be moved up because I made it two inches higher. And then when you look this way, I got my tree stand or tree store, Christmas tree store, stand, stand, tree store. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you guys. Uh, the Christmas tree stand is there. And then the track goes back. And it's sitting on two inch foam the whole way around, as you can see back there. So we'll come over to this side. And that's all raised up and closed in. We put our Christmas vacation house back there. Put that tunnel portal back in. And uh, I just got to get some of that snow roll stuff. The snow cover. And uh, some of the plastic trees, because... I had used them over and over and they kind of finally ripped apart last year. But that's where I'm at. And then we just got to close it all up and wrap it. So pretty happy where I'm at. Probably got about two and a half more hours to complete it. Not too bad. 
went a lot quicker than last year. But last year we had to build all the framing and start from scratch. So I'm happy with it. I think Cameron will be happy with it. We'll be back with more once I get more done. All right, so here's our finished scene. Got the river, the bridge, the tunnel, got the trees in. That backdrop is from the first, the Christmas display we did back in 2020. So if you come up and see, we got the stream with the rocks. And right there, you can see them over the back. If you come over the top, you can see what we have here. And uh, that's this side's done. I just got to put the lid back on it, super glue it back on, and uh, I got the LED lights. I got batteries for that. So I'll go ahead and um, do that. All right, so you saw the other scene and now I'm done with this scene. So what we did in this scene this year was I eliminated the road. We went with just all snow and I put a path up to the door of the house. Uh, it's the Christmas vacation house. Cam picked out the silver tree at the Dollar Tree. And I got red LED lights, so I put the red lights on the silver tree and put it in here. Clark went big this year for Christmas, got this big silver tree put in. So that's basically this scene back there. We got our little ski park ornament thing and then a couple of trees, a couple of rocks. And then if we come down to this level, that's what it looks like. There's a tunnel portal going out. And then the track goes back around the bend there. So overall, I'm happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up and uh, all we have left to do is this front part right here. So in the last clip that I showed, you seen that this all had to be closed in. So I closed that all up, everything there with some cardboard and I used a piece of foam board for that spot. Taped that up and closed it in. So I went ahead and wrapped this. I have just a little bit to do on the bottom part there. That's uh, last year's wrapping paper yet that I had glued on. So I changed it up this year to try to do something different because that glue was a mess. So what I did was just put packaging tape over all the wrapping paper. I think that should outlast Cam. We'll see. Did I outsmart? Did I outsmart? The toddler or will the toddler outsmart me <laughs> so we can come down and you can see this scene complete with the lights on I like how this one came out I really like the stone walkway and then as I went back I got closer and closer to give it that forced perspective that the house is a little bit more off in the distance than what we see here in the foreground and I think I pretty well succeeded with that so as we move along, the last you saw this section right here, it was just a piece of foam board. So what did I do? Here's, uh, I had mentioned I was going to wrap the little foam board. That's what I did. And then hot glued it on the front and we made ourselves a nice fascia. Clean up that edge. Uh, so my next step was put that snow carpet on the foam and then I took candy canes and drilled holes in and put them all down in and then super glued the lights not super glue hot glue oh and another tip uh, candy canes don't like the glue when it's really 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 hot so if you're gonna use real candy canes and you're gonna hot glue them let the glue cool a minute because it kind of melts them down to liquid sugar that's not what happened to that one. Cam fell into the display and broke it. So what we will do if they break throughout 
the season is I got these holiday pencils. They're like wrap. They look like wrapping paper. A lot of them. If we have to, we'll just replace some with the pencils. But for now, we only had to do one. So if you see them change as I post videos throughout Christmas of this, um, that's what happened. So I ran out tonight to the Dollar uh, Tree and I went to look for fake candy canes. That's how I ended up with the pencils, long story short. Um, I grabbed a couple more of these trees. Actually, they were the last two packs they had. So I want to add just a couple trees out in here. And that tree there is red. Cam liked those, so I got two of them. He liked the silver one. So I grabbed the red one, and I grabbed LED lights and never looked at the colors. And the one was red and the one was green, so I thought the green was cool on the red, and the red lights were cool on the silver tree. So I put the green lights on here, and I thought that looked good right up against the station and then against that silver wrapping paper. So that's what I did there. And also while we were there, I picked up that Santa sleigh ornament for a dollar. I thought that was awesome. And immediately when I saw it, I was like, that would look awesome on the platform at the North Pole Station. So that was the idea behind that. And I think it added uh, a lot of spruce because last year this was on the floor here. And this really wasn't much of a scene. It was just the hardwood floor and the station sitting there. So now this is a whole little winter scene itself. And then the last scene, uh, <clears throat> this is completely wrapped up. And what I did for in here was the same thing, little pieces of foam board to make the frame for the window. So that's silver, the outside's blue, and then there's that. The river scene, I really like that scene. The only thing I'm sad about is I can't really see all that detail I did in the river if you were watching earlier in the video about um, how I did the rocks in there. You can see a little bit of them when you come way up high and look down, but I really need another piece of plexiglass like I have over there to look down in. But I didn't get to Lowe's and I needed to get this done. So next year we'll add that because a lot of this I think I'm going to reuse next year. And it should be salvageable. Like this wrapping paper with the... I don't think that's going to come off too easy. So it might hold up for next year. We'll see. But that is basically how it looks now. And, you know, we'll show more once we get the tree in and decorate it. Like that stuff back there, you don't see it all once the tree's in. So I didn't waste my time wrapping it this year because I remembered last year you couldn't see it. So I'm happy with this and Cam loves it. So what I'm going to do is turn the lights off and we'll take just a stroll through and look at each scene in the dark.
everybody. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you like the build on this this year. This will not be the last video on this. Um, we'll do another video once the tree's in. And we'll do more train running. Um, I think I have a clip to add to this though of the train on here already. So I will add that right after this. And I might add some still shots of the train sitting on this with all the lights on. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Take care. Happy holidays. Where's the choo-choo?